So I don't know the chronology of me posting this, but my bike seized at the last race on the first lap. We didn't know it was wrong. My dad took it apart. We thought maybe it was a clutch. It wasn't. Turned out it was one of the bearings. The bearing completely fused to the crank. So we had to do, redo the whole bottom end, essentially. Luckily, we were able to salvage the crank. It had some dings in it, but we think it'll be fine. Um, there were a myriad of issues with like missing, uh, I don't know what you call them, like seals. Um, they just didn't come with the top end. and So we didn't put it in, and I didn't realize that was a problem. So antifreeze was leaking into the cylinder. Uh, really just a big headache. You know, it was probably another 12 hours of work, but um, we're gonna ride on my bike. So I'm really excited. Um, and that's what this video will be. It was just me riding my bike for the first, first time on this new top end um, and redone bottom end. All right, it's go time, baby. Um, <laughs> here, I don't know, I'm kind of nervous. Like, <laughs> this is second full rebuild. Something's... Oh, I'll find my dad. It's making, here, turn that off. I feel like there's like a weird noise, something happening. It's kind of loose. It almost feels like, does it? Cause like, I feel like <laughs> Oh, the back sprocket's loose actually Here, let me go tighten the back sprocket Alright, the back sprocket was like very loose um, I don't know if that was the culprit But I did tighten that up And I just kind of checked and everything seemed tight Good, so good guys again. Okay.
Oh, <laughs> okay. big rainstorm a week ago or so. Real big. We get these every once in a while in California, just like straight up down for. Whoa. this up a lot that was before the rain so I expect the rain goofed it up a little bit yeah that was not too bad this is pretty gnarly in here the ruts got real bad Right is not So I found the noise. The one of them is missing, but the other three are really tight. And after I ride, we have the bolt kit in the truck. Oh yeah, that, yeah. And this has been like this for probably a month because I've been hearing this for a month. And <laughs> I track over everything. And then I was rolling. I turned my bike off and rolled down a hill and I still heard it. Yeah. And it was definitely not in the engine. Well, you almost have to, if you're doing something like that, take your helmet off. Well, yeah, but luckily I knew it wasn't in the engine because I heard it up here. How's the engine running? Fine. So far it seems, you know, good as new or you know, good. So I'm just gonna do a couple more laps. Scratched crank. <laughs> yeah, no, that that crank is dinged up. I wish I got a picture of that. There wasn't a lot of mass taken off. No, just no, just aesthetics. Scratch. And I did Take sand it a little on, bit. Keep an eye on the... Yeah, Nico. That is so weird. Whoa! <laughs> so nice though, that it's nothing serious. This has been bugging us for years. Just kidding. 
Oh God. Oh God. Okay, here we go. Thank you, gravity. This is such a gnarly section. I bought my helmet for a cowboy. I had to wrangle it right there, baby. Ooh. Yeehaw! This is where things get a little spooky. No, actually, I mean, it's not great, but it's not terrible. said this but I've been standing up a lot more when I ride. For me, being so tall, I don't typically stand up, mainly because it's extra effort. I don't really need to. And it puts me over the bars a lot of the time, but I do find it helps with stability. Because usually I sit down and I just hold on and use my back to stabilize, but, you know, first off, I'd like to graduate from girl jeans, get my legs involved a little more. Second off, I think there's a higher asymptote of skill, if that makes any sense. You know, I feel like I was almost approaching a maximum uh, with what I could do as a sit-down rider. Now I feel like... Yikes. Okay, that was, uh, you know... Let's not include that in the video. Literally worst, worst spot that could happen. <sighs> that sucks. <sighs> that really sucks. Well, I guess this is really rage training because I always blow it somewhere. That's pretty gnarly. Ah. Bogging. Oh my gosh. Close 
That's a good idea. When I jump, when they go down there, I can kind of clean. Running good, huh? Yeah, seems fine. Move, Jack. I hit take this. Yeah, I know. Uh, crap. Well, he's still alive. Well, I'm done. I'm gonna finish my lap and right, probably so leave in an hour. Right What's up? Can you get out to Hopefully. <laughs> you may be wondering why there's such a good path there, and that's because my track used to go that way. <laughs> Are we going to see you at Erzberg next year? And yeah, I think you will. No, I'm just kidding. That'd be a cool thing to do, but I'm working and making these videos. And you don't even know about some other stuff I'm up to. I do not think you'll, nor I will have time. <sighs> but anyway, sweet, my bike's back to life. Finger in the camera. Anyway, I'm, you know, rosy cheeks because I just got done riding. But thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Many more videos to come. Peace. What the? He's out, chainsawing. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, just down kind of by Thelma's. I think that's her name. Hey. Ooh, ooh. Slobber bomb.